Hi guys, I'm finally going to be filming my Ask Lucy part 3, sounds like they're part of a trilogy. This is Instagram based, um, I asked you guys to ask me questions via Instagram and uh, I've got quite a lot of questions actually which was surprising. Um, so thank you all so much for asking me questions and let's jump straight to it. First question is, if you were to create a perfume, what would it, what would be in it and what would you call it? I quite like kind of musky, not really like heavy, really sweet perfume. I quite like kind of like musky, but still like florally. It's really hard to describe scents. Um, I wear Hugo Boss, um, just get it down. The, that one, Femme, I think it's called. Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. And I have a couple of body shop perfumes as well. Um, I quite like kind of musky scents. And what would I call it? I have no idea. If you had to live with one celebrity singer for the rest of your life, who would you choose? Uh, Tegan and Sarah. Can I choose Tegan and Sarah? They're a double act, so yeah. They say three's a crowd, but it's fine if it's Tegan and Sarah. We'll live with cats, because they have two cats. Well, Sarah has two cats, so it's all good. How did you meet your girlfriend? You have the sweetest relationship. Thank you very much. Um, we met online, um, but it's kind of weird, because she's from my hometown, <laughs> um, and we have mutual friends, because she went to the same high school as me, but we didn't know each other at the time, so yeah, that's it's really strange how it all worked out, but yes. Um, so thank you very much. What book have you read the most times? I haven't really reread many books. I remember rereading Jacqueline Wilson's Candy Floss about four times um, when I was younger. It was my favourite book, I think. I loved that book so much. I don't even know whether I still have it anymore. I think I sold it on a car boot sale. But I remember reading that again and again quite a few times. Um, I think I've read Twilight and New Moon and Eclipse a couple of times. I don't know. I never really have time to reread books fully. Who is your favourite film director? Um... Hmm, I really don't know. I don't know, my mind has gone blank. I'm not sure. Hmm, I can't remember film directors off the top of my head. Blah! What is the most played song on your on your phone, iPod, music library? Um, Modern Love by David Bowie, I think. It, that's been played about 160 times or something ridiculous. What are you most looking forward to in second year of uni? Um, hello Kendall. <laughs> um, second year of uni, I'm looking forward to seeing my friends again. Me and my course friends, we're like a little gang and my little family and I miss them all so much. Just miss hanging out with them on a daily basis. That and I'm also really looking forward to living in my student house next year with my, my um, flat ex-flatmates etc um, in our student house which is really exciting. It's going to feel very independent and very weird. I'm going to really miss the flat next year. Um, but yes, I'm also looking forward to cooking as well and um, just I also really miss lectures and I'm gonna I'm really miss learning <laughs> which sounds really lame really miss learning and having a routine and feeling productive so I'm gonna really look forward to that and learning about new texts and we've picked our modules for next year I'm gonna be doing Shakespeare's sisters which is women throughout literature stories of the novel which is the beginning of the novel and its form and stuff and decadence which is the turn of the century 19th to 20th century literature how are you so perfect what's your spirit animal how are you so perfect okay my my spirit animal um it's probably a cat that or um a cat yeah what is your dream career and how did you and chloe meet i've already answered the second one but your my dream career has always been working in media and journalism um working alongside um bbc or something that or screenwriting um one of the two also leaning towards at the moment as more of a safety option of me having a definite kind of career um i'm gonna hope maybe do my phd and become a doctorate and be a university lecturer um which means gonna have to be at uni for a lot longer <laughs> But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. The thought of the future is very scary. <laughs> what was the LGBT society like at your uni? Did you make many LGBT friends? The LGBT society I'm not a member of, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, I'm maybe gonna join next year, but I found on the society's fair, they were quite cliquey. I went over to the table and they looked at me a little bit as if to say, uh, you're not, you're obviously straight kind of look. And I just don't know anyone that's a part of the society and I felt a bit uh, like awkward and nervous to attend any of the meetings. I don't really know anybody who's LGBT at uni. Just it doesn't really bother me, I thought that it would, but um, yeah, it's fine. I'm just a token gay, I suppose, in my friends. <laughs> Who are your celebrity crushes? Ellen Page. You know, I always go blank at this question. Emma Watson, uh, Carmen from The L Word, I can't remember what her name is. Heather Peace. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I, if I think of any more, I'll put them in the description. What countries have you been to and where would you like to travel? I've been to France multiple times. I've been to Spain a couple of times. I've been to Greece when I was younger. I've been to Holland, so like Amsterdam, etc. Various places in the UK. Um, yeah that's about it really. I've been to France a fair few times. I love France. How would you like to travel? Um, hopefully next year I'm going in trailing with my friends. Um, so we are planning on going across Europe. Um, so Germany, Italy, um, Sweden, uh, Copenhagen and different places. I'd like to go to America. I'd love to go to Canada, like Toronto. The main places really are Italy and Sweden. I'd also really love to go to South Africa and go on safari. I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, feel free to ask me more questions down below and I will answer them in the next Ask Lucy so it doesn't look like a trilogy. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and I shall see you all soon. Okay, bye!